uh, on a year-to-day -day basis. And I keep pointing out that was the great right Hello there, welcome back, and for today's topic, let's talk about loop extension. Loop extension utilizes the monkey ace's special property, reversed, to extend the duration in which the ace stays on certain path, area, or patterns. The main idea of using this is to make the ace go backwards on the path it just took. One intuitive application of this, for example, is when we're on figure circle and say we don't want to keep moving to this area. What we can do is to hit that reverse button which moves the ace back here. Hence, briefly extends the duration our ace is attacking the blooms. We can call it path extension, and it works similarly on other paths as well. It doesn't stop right there though, because reverse patterns work on so many more scenarios. It can be applied to a set of movements or patterns. Here's a more advanced example. To break this down, I am executing this pattern which spins the ace 3 times. At this point, we have 3 options. Switching to figure 8 moves the ace here and figure infinite moves the ace there. However, if we hit reverse, we can actually do another 3 spins like so, making it a total of 6 loops, which doubles the amount of time our ace is attacking the blooms in this small area. And this is how the technique works. When you do the loop patterns, imagine the ace spinning in a spiral like this. At any point in the path, Hitting reverse moves it backwards on the path it just took, which in other words, makes it move all the way back to where the pattern started. The longer you stay in the spiral, the longer it takes to go out. Reverse patterns were introduced to BTD6 update 30.0 on the 8th of February 2022. Within just one week, it was proven to be full of potential by Plisp, who beats round 99 on Candy Falls, Camo Solo with Sky Shredder, which was not possible before without using reverse patterns. Soon after, we began to see more and more reverse action come into play, with lots of variations being found, allowing Sky Shredder to solo camo on almost every beginner map, and even some intermediate ones. We've made a video documenting this montage, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. The most honorable mention goes to Sky Shredder, both 501 and 520, being proven to be able to solo round 98 on locks with war and reverse patterns seamlessly integrated into the micro style. In conclusion, loop extension is one of the most fundamental approaches to utilizing reverse patterns. It's helpful to think of it as continuations to normal looping patterns rather than using reverse patterns on their own. Once we get used to executing these techniques, we'll be ready to dive deeper into the reverse micro. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao!